I work for Remington Arms. Remington Arms is part of what are called what is called Freedom Group, a uh, Freedom Group of companies. Uh, basically, it's a firearms manufacturer, and there are several firearms manufacturers and in other industries that uh, the company that we are owned by, which is Cerberus Capital, has started purchasing. Uh, as part of an initiative for growth, one of the things that we started looking at uh, sometime early in two, or late 2007, early 2008 was Salesforce uh, to try to start creating medical records of our accounts so that existing sales infrastructure could have a, a better heads up of what was going on. We had an implementation partner uh, and that implementation partner basically went through the process of trying to show us how to move our data back and forth and some of the different uh, systems that were available. Obviously Pervasive was one of those. Uh, the other company that they recommended, uh, along with Pervasive, uh, was hardware specifics. Well, the other one that they talked about specifically was cast iron. Uh, cast iron, again, is a is hardware, you know, um, you, you pretty much have to have the hardware in your office. Uh, it, it, the license was quite a bit more expensive. Um, we didn't have any uh, necessarily expertise. We didn't with uh, Pervasive as well, but Pervasive was an easier tool to implement with personnel. Um, Prior to that, everything was done just through standard DTS. There was no real translation tool that we had in place. That obviously wasn't going to fit the need for what we had going to an Oracle-based system or to a you know, SAAS-type platform. We had to have something that would actually take data that existed in formats that uh, needed to be translated and needed to be moved to uh, a system that was not on our infrastructure. We have uh, several tens of thousands of accounts that, that we manage. Um, so from a volume perspective, I mean, we're moving data, data nightly, um, but if we do a complete restatement of order history and things of that nature, obviously we're in the you know, hundreds of thousands of records that move at a given time. So a lot of this is centered around Salesforce data migration uh, is what initially started the process. Uh, we implemented it probably early 2008, uh, I would say probably first or second quarter 2008. We have batch files that uh, create an extract from our ERP system uh, to SQL tables. Uh, through Pervasive, we basically do an ETL translation uh, from those SQL tables uh, up to Salesforce.com. Uh, in addition to that, we are also pulling in not only account information to Salesforce, but um, budgeting data, reporting on uh, sales, uh, existing orders, uh, you know, trying to do extracts, because uh, we have a bu uh, business intelligence implementation that has happened following the Salesforce implementation. Data is going to be extracted from Salesforce to our business intelligence data cubes. Uh, that business intelligence piece is owned by our finance group so that uh, not only do, does our finance group get better reporting on what's going on in the different companies and we have a consolidated view of what's happening, but also from a sales and marketing perspective, um, bringing in sales information, uh, tying it to SKU, being able to run that in reports that's you know, relevant to our sales force and you know, to show our position in the market. How can we improve the position? What's moving? What's not moving? To be able to have that level of data um, representative of all companies, we have to have integration. That's the current implementation and what we're currently using it for. Uh, obviously, uh, part of my reason for being at this particular conference is because there are a lot of future initiatives. Acquisition is a big part of what we do, and um, uh, this Freedom Group of Companies has grown significantly, and there's uh, all indications that it's continued to grow. Uh, that being said, you don't know what you're getting into uh, when you pick up a company data-wise. And so you have disparate systems that you're working with, whether it's you know, varying ERP systems, it could be Lotus Notes, it could be Access, it could be Excel, how to pull all this data in and you know, provide intelligent solutions that are going to provide the you know, finance or whomever might be looking at it with the data that's relevant. And uh, I think that Pervasive is a, is, a, is a very powerful tool and there's a lot of potential there to you know, bring some of this data internally. And it's going to help you know, make us more competitive in the long run data is always, it seems 75% of the battle. The integration of the software and the, and the installation and the setup is usually the easier piece, but by the time you start looking at data, uh, things become really kind of scary and hectic. Uh, particularly bringing in data from who knows what kind of system uh, that has a different data standard than what we may have at the, at the uh, headquarters or whatever. Um, those different data standards cause problems. And if things haven't, if nomenclature hasn't been worked on or if uh, data, um, specific data rules haven't been put in place by different companies, then we're having to fight that architecture to bring it into our existing. Uh, and as a result, some, we have to put stop gaps in place to keep that data from polluting ours. Uh, and like I said, the data profile, uh, profiler piece is going to be something that's going to help us be able to move that data more confidently. Uh, we can trap it you know, again, have it have actionable results at the end of that for data that was kicked out 
uh, be able to move only data that meets our level of approval into our new system, and that's what we need. Uh, I think one of the biggest benefits has been in relation to the, the, the mapping process. Uh, certainly there is the ability for someone who is not familiar when you talk about maybe uh, turnover in your employee ranks or when you talk about having to bring someone up to speed on how to use the tool. One of the things I like the most about it is the ability to look at existing data maps. Uh, you can see line by line exactly what code is being translated into what field, uh, how that's being transformed. It's very easy, I think, to go through and uh, for someone to pick up exactly what data is being pulled from where, how it's being moved, where it's being moved to. Uh, so from that perspective, I think the thing that, that I enjoy the most is being able to have confidence in knowing that if someone comes in behind an existing pervasive user, that they'll be able to pick it up pretty quickly. That I like the relationship I have with my, cell, my account rep. It, it's, it's fantastic. She's a, she's a go-getter. She's going to bat for me. I like it. Uh, the support has been phenomenal. Uh, when we need data support, it's been fantastic. Uh, I think as long as those things stay in place, I think we'll be generally happy. Uh, we've actually used your integration services team, uh, brought them in for some uh, additional training, and uh, that was fantastic. So uh, at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little reserved in, in what you can improve, but I just say that I'm happy with where it's at. Does that work? No problem. Thank you.